This year's winner for the category Ethical Dimensions of the Information Society comes from Indonesia, ICT Watch, with the project Internet Safe Healthy. Mr. Doniu Toyo is with us and he will tell us more about the project. Sure, thank you for uh, having me here. So uh, the Internet Sehat or Internet Awareness, actually this kind of a uh, multi stakeholders program, this kind of a uh, digital literacy program. We uh, engage with uh, like governments, like uh, si other, civil, other civil society, with private sector, academy and technical community. We uh, developed uh, the campaigns, the advocacy by having the digital content, like a movie, like a leaflet, like a brochures. And we make all the contents a creative common license. And the people, the community, local community, or local leaders, they can use our content for free. Also, we give an incentive for them. When they use our content, then we can, uh, you know, develop their their skills, develop their organization capacity by, you know, uh, creating uh, capacity building for them. Or it's like small merchandise for them. So when they create a screening, uh, a movie like we create a movie about digital literacy in uh, every year every each year we create one one movie about how the social media can be used for the positive uh, and the productive way and we create an individu we distribute it for free and when they create a screening public screening fee and we send them like a t-shirt or something for you know it's cre actually creating a uh, a lot of uh, uh, what you call it uh, the the focal points in, in Indonesia around Indonesia. ICT Watch has already been submitting projects for the Vesis Prize contest in the past. Yeah. This year you are the winner. Could you please tell us a bit more about this achievement and how was it perceived uh, within well, your community? You know what? When we become a champion last year, and we talk to to the, uh, to the community, we also talk to the minister of ICT, and. Actually, the wishes, I mean, become um, what you call it, become a, a shortlist on on the on, on the wishes price, is actually boosting the visibility of the program in the national level. Mm -hmm. You know what? Because okay, this is the, this is UN, this is ITU, and I mean, so maybe only a certain. Only, uh, only on a specific or only uh, a selected uh, uh, program or initiative can be, uh, you know, um, uh, 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 get uh, attention uh, from the uh, UN expert or ITU expert. So when we achieve the, the the champion, and actually what we are, we what what I'm thinking is not for my own or our own uh, program, but we have to encourage other initiative in Indonesia to submit it. The, 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 to, to, to the price, to the uh, wish price. And this year, there's around eight or ten initiatives in Indonesia registered, sub submitted, and four become champions, and one is Internet Sehat, which become uh, the winners. Which is it's not for the Internet Sehat, not only for the our own campaign, but it's for the Indonesia, but also for the ICT, linked to you know SDG uh, um, uh, goals, of course. Thank you very much for recognizing this is prizes as a platform for those who need to promote yeah, their hard work having ICTs helping sustainable development. Sure, sure. And in this respect, would you please tell us a bit more how your project uh, advances the sustainable development goals? Yeah, I know. Um, when we, well, in Indonesia we have 130 million internet users. And now Indonesia also, uh, uh, our president said about the, 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 uh, their vision on digital economy in 2002. And a lot of small medium enterprises, technopreneurs, they now uh, uh, facilitate with, with, with the online uh, um, and, and the internet. And, and the governments develop the nations by, by, by delivering the, the, the economic, uh, digital economy. And when we talk about SDG, we know that there's also a digital gap between uh, area from remote in the city, also digital gap between the men and the women on, on how they utilize the internet. When we deliver the internet set or internet awareness as our program, we are not only talking about how to use internet safely and wisely, but the other thing we, 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 uh, we use, uh, we deliver the visions of online freedom, online rights, not only about the human rights as the human rights, but also, well, anybody, anyone should have the same 
uh, quality of the internet of the you know uh, online uh, online uh, ecosystem so that's why um, when we talk about the SDG there's a, a, a gender equality about the online freedom so it's very pretty much in line with, with with the program that we deliver to the society Thank you very much for coming back to the VESIS Forum 2017. We hope that other Indonesian entities of course, will also yeah. become VESIS stakeholders. I will do hard for the, I will do work hard for developing the more Indonesian initiative to the VESIS. We are here also to assist you. Please let us know. Thank you very much, Mr. Rutoyo, for being here much. to us today. Thank you. Thank you.